All righty, time for another edition of Science Sunday. Of course, joined by Aoife Ryle of the Connecticut Science Center. Good morning. Good morning. So um, we're talking like home automation, robots, you know, but there's a, a specific definition or, or meaning behind what an, a robot actually is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that today because we're, like you said, we're getting more robots in the home, mm -hmm. like the Roomba I've brought in here. Um, but sometimes the definition of a robot can uh, fluctuate a little bit. Okay. Uh, and even scientists don't really have a solid definition. Firm. Okay. So we're going to talk about it. Gotcha. Um, first one I'm going to start off with is our friend Bananas here. Now he's moving, he's mechanical, definitely not a robot though. Not, not a robot. Yeah. No, no. So just having moving parts and uh, mechanical systems is yes. not enough to make something a robot. All right. Um, we scientists kind of agree on the fact that a robot needs to be able to process information from its environment All right. uh, using sensors and then make decisions based on that. All right. So Roomba is an example of an, a robot. Um, so if you want to turn it on for me. All right. It's going to do its job. Robots it's gonna are clean typically, this very dirty table. Yes. Yes. They're typically task oriented, so it has its task to clean. Um, it's going forward and then it's sensing that there's an edge, there's a cliff, using its infrared sensors. And then it'll stop and make the decision to maybe go a different way. Um, and I mean, while well, this is on a flat surface too, like if this were in your home on a tile floor or wood floor, mm -hmm. and it were to encounter a, a rug or a carpet, it would be able to adapt. Exactly, right. yeah. So it's taking in information using its sensors, adapting, making decisions, um, and it can perform this series of really complex tasks without us having an input at all. Yeah. Right. You can, this is a set it and forget it kind of robot. Um, so. Turn it off. All right. Bye, Roomba. Yeah. Bye, Roomba. All Good right. night. Thank cool. you. <laughs> Uh, the last one I want to show you is, again, uh, not a robot, but it's maybe a little bit more complicated than bananas. Right. So this is an example of they can seem okay. a little more complicated and still not be robots. So this is our RC bird. Just toss it for me. Yeah, here we go, ready? flap in. Ooh. So it's able to fly, change direction, change speed, but it can't make any decisions. I'm making all the decisions for it gotcha. very badly. <laughs> Well, you, you kept With it in camera view. That, that was certainly good. <laughs> Can I try Almost. it again? Yeah, sure. Come back. There we go. Come back, come back. <laughs> okay, well it landed on one of the cameras. <laughs> so that was user error. <laughs> But not a robot. Exactly. Because you were controlling the input. Exactly. Right. But maybe an example of why sometimes robots are better at some jobs than, than humans, um, why, would, why they're great. Right. So uh, evolution, I mean, things will continue to become like, a, a, like the, the Zumbas or R Roombas. Mm -hmm. um, they've adapted and have grown in their technology and what they can do too. Yes. Yeah, yeah they're always improving, always getting better. Um, so they're really fun to kind of keep an eye on. So you can Zumba while you Roomba. You can absolutely. Right. <laughs> right. So um, you guys have a really cool exhibition at the Science Center, and it is actually in its final weeks because this was supposed to run through the end of June and then it was extended. Yes, yeah, we got such good feedback, we extended it, but it is coming to a real close this time. Um, so check it out before September 1st. Real Bodies will be leaving us. All right, Eva, thank you so much. Of course, and we will see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.